the moment, I think we're beginning to see a shift in the way that uh, cities are understood. Never before have we had so much data about individuals, about transportation, about the economy on such a fine-grained level as we do today. And we see that as developing into the future um, exponentially so. With that, we'll be able to build our understanding of the city and improve our models of the city. The bike data, so the bike hire data, from that we'll be able to identify different types of usage and where they're used and why. We have the data on the locations of tube trains, of, of buses. Um, we have Oyster card data, so people's movement between origin destinations across London. With that, we're beginning to understand better than ever before where people go, when and why, and, and start to understand how people change their behaviour in different circumstances. So this is already happening to a certain degree. And I think in the next 50 years, you can imagine that more increasing levels of individual data will become available, so relating to each of us about our individual behaviours. But at the same time, you can imagine there will be a kickback against this movement. So as it becomes increasingly known that your financial transactions are available to researchers, what will people's uh, responses be to that? And will they be happy with that sort of research continuing? And I think we're already seeing these sort of, these, these patterns of realization occurring. If you look at uh, organizations or companies like Facebook, there's a small movement about against, uh, against Facebook in terms of their utilization of people's data for advertising or marketing purposes. So, this is, a, this, is a, this is a trend you may see continuing as data increases, as individual data increases and people become aware of what data can be, can be used for. As these data sources become available and more accessible and um, easier to sort of understand, I think, um, people, will, uh, people will become better at understanding these and being able to use them for their own purposes, to question the government to make decisions about their own lives.